What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to another top 10 most expensive list and today's all about the PlayStation Vita. Now the PlayStation Vita is a handheld I bring to work with me every day. I mean it's got an awesome library of games. You can remote play your PS4 with it. I mean hell you can remote play PS1 games using your PS3 with it. And the same rules apply to this list as every other list. No new copies, no crazy collector's editions, and for the import rule I usually don't allow a lot of imports on this, this, this list. But for this video, I am going to allow certain like East Asia Soft and certain Korean Japanese releases that have English subtitles onto this list. So let's check out the 10 most expensive PlayStation Vita games of 2019. At number 10, we have 99 Vitas, which, and I never knew this before, is Portuguese for 99 lives. Did not know that. Now, 99 Vitas is a retro style side scrolling beat em up developed and published by Cubite Interactive. Now, this game has gone up in price. A lot of the early, strictly limited games have. And I missed out on this game. I believe you can download it regardless of what region console you have. So, this is one that I have been looking to play. I've heard it's a lot of fun. Uh, the graphics look okay. I really, honestly, I don't dig the character sprites. But other than that, I think the graphics look cool. Uh, from what I've heard of the sound, the sound sounds good. Um, you know, I dig this game. You know, if I could find it for, you know, right around $40, I think I would be a player at that point. But coming in at a price of $70, 99 Vitas is the 10th most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number 9, we have Saturday Morning RPG. Now, this is a game made by Mighty Rabbit Studios, and I'm pretty sure that that's the same company that made Breach and Clear. I know that it has something to do with Limited Run, and I guess that's the company that they had going before they started Limited Run, so they released their first few games on Limited Run. I don't know, it's something like that. I'm sure there's people out there that know the story. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, I love this game, Saturday Morning RPG. The, the, the only thing I didn't like was the mix of the, the high res and the, like the, the pixelated graphics. Sometimes when you mash those two kinds of graphics together, it kind of doesn't turn out right. But this game, it, 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 it turned out pretty good, don't get me wrong. The gameplay's solid. Um, I love the, the 80s and 90s pop culture references with the Transformers and the G.I. Joes and the Rainbow Bright and the Care Bears and all the cool power-ups you get. and. You know, like power-ups for you would be like pizza or a donut or, you know, just things like that. It's a, it's kind of a modern, it's a retro RPG, but it has modern day elements. Uh, similar to elements that you might see in games like Earthbound or something like that. So I, I like this game a lot. I love, I love the scratch and sniff stickers on the front of your Trapper Keeper that you have to scratch on the front screen of the Vita. And that's why I think this is the best way to play the game is on the Vita. It's probably the same on the Switch when you get the scratch and sniff stickers. But I thought this game was a blast. And I had a lot of fun playing it. This is a game I had a lot of fun with my stepson. He actually watched me play and beat this game. But coming in at a price of $75, Saturday Morning RPG is the ninth most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number eight, we have Gundamoniums. Now, this is a Dojin shooter, and when I saw it on Strictly Limited's website, I was surprised because this is something I've been playing on PC now for a few years. And there's actually other games in the Gundamonium series. Now, this was developed, I believe it was developed by a company called Plantine Dispositif. And they've done other Dojin games that aren't just shoot 'em ups like there's some platformers. There's a couple that actually strictly limited release to the U.S. Or worldwide, I should say, that are pretty cool. And it's kind of like the Toho games. If you guys have ever played any of the Dojin PC or the Dojin PS4 Toho games, it's kind of like the same kind of thing. They're doing different genres of games and releasing them on the PC and... They're so good, some of them are getting PS4 and Vita releases. But anyway, we're talking about the Vita game right now, and as far as the price goes, if you want a copy of Gundamoniums on the PlayStation Vita, it's going to cost you $85. Uh, kind of pricey, but Gundamoniums is the 8th most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number 7, we have Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Now, admittedly, never played this game. I've never played any Digimon game or any game in the Digimon universe. I mean, hell, I've never played a Pokemon game. So, you know, this game does look like, you know, from watching the gameplay footage, it does look like it has pretty cool, you know, or more hardcore RPG elements than, let's just say, uh, a Pokemon game. And it does look like something I'm willing to try out. Now, I do want to address one thing. This is an import. And if you want an official U.S. release of this game, you can buy a used at GameStop for, I'm sure, like 15 bucks. This game did come out on the PlayStation 4. It just never had an official U.S. release on the PlayStation Vita. 
what it did over in Japan or maybe Korea. So there's a version, and maybe it's a Japanese or Korean version, and then there's another version that has Japanese or Korean voice acting and then English subtitles. And that was sold either in Japan or in Korea. It was probably sold on sites like Play Asia and probably other sites, although I do I do think it was probably made in low numbers and that's probably why it goes for the price that it goes for. But anyway, coming in at a price of $90, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is the seventh most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number six, we have Samurai Warriors 4. Now, just like the last game, the Digimon game, this is an import. Now, both of the games, the Samurai Warriors game and the Digimon game, had US releases over here in the States. And for some reason, the Vita versions only came out in like Japan or Korea. And both of those games both have a Japanese or Korean version, and then there's one that has the voice acting in Japanese or Korean, but with English subtitles. So it's kind of one of those deals. Now, Samurai Warriors is like a hack and slash type of game. I think I got a couple of Samurai Warriors games on the PlayStation 2. You know, one of them might even be a Japanese game. I'm not sure. It's not really a series I've really got into, especially now with all the RPGs and shooters coming out now. Um, now, this is a game that kind of reminds me of Fate Extra, if you guys have played that. You know, the Umbral Star on the Vita or the PS4. Awesome game. But anyway, this game must be pretty rare with a price tag of $95. Samurai Warriors 4 is the sixth, the most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number five, we have Epic Mickey 2. Now, this gameplay footage is actually from an Xbox 360, but pay that in mind. It's all I could get. Couldn't get the Vita footage. But Epic Mickey 2 is a platformer published by Disney Interactive Studios, and apparently it's the sequel to Epic Mickey, at least according to Wikipedia. Now, Epic Mickey 2 had releases on the PlayStation 3, Wii, Xbox 360, Wii U, PlayStation Vita, and Microsoft Windows. Now, this kind of reminds me of gameplay that would have been around in like the PlayStation 1 era, PlayStation 2, you know, it kind of reminds me of Mario 64 kind of, you know, that type of thing. You know, something I probably would have been more interested in when I was a lot younger, but now that I'm older, I'd rather just watch somebody else play it for a few minutes, honestly, it's not my cup of tea. Now, I feel like Epic Mickey 2 is a game that you'd find at like a GameStop sitting next to some, some of those Lego games that came out on the Vita, like Lego Batman or you know, Lego Jurassic Park or all the different Lego games that came out at the time. But coming in at $100, damn, this game cost $100, that's crazy. Epic Mickey 2 is the fifth most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number four, we have Excel World versus Sword Art Online. And from what I understand and from what I've read online, this is just an instance where two different animes kind of mashed up together for a video game. Although there have been several Sword Art Online games released, I have a few. I think the last one I played was uh, Fatal Bullet, which is actually pretty good. I recommend you guys play that game. Um, you know, a lot of people consider Sword Art Online games to be kind of like a dot hack knockoff because some of the stories are kind of similar with the MMO thing going on. Anyway, this game must be pretty rare because it comes with a price tag of $140. Yeah, this game cost $140. I mean, that, that, that's crazy. This Vita game cost $140, but Excel World vs. Sword Art Online is the fourth most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number three, we have Oddworld Abe's Odyssey New and Tasty. Now, Oddworld and some of the other games on this list have been in other top 10 lists that I've done for 2019, so I find that to be kind of interesting. But anyway, this Oddworld game is a puzzle platformer like the others. Uh, I've never played it before. I remember when it came out, I thought to get it, but I just it doesn't really seem like something I'd really play. Now, I do remember playing one of the Oddworld games on the original Xbox. A buddy of mine used to have it and bring it over to my house, and I'd more than anything just watch him play it. But this game is kind of pricey, and it's one of those early limited run games, so I guess I kind of understand why it goes for what it goes for. But coming in at $145, damn. Oddworld's Abe's Odyssey New and Tasty is the third most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number two, we have Dragon Quest Builders. Now, this is an import. Again, this is another one of those games on this list that had a Korean or a Japanese released, and then another version with a Korean or Japanese voice acting, and then English subtitles. Now, I've never played this game, so and it, it kind of confuses me with the Dragon Quest Builders thing. It kind of looks like a Minecraft kind of thing. I don't even know what Minecraft is. I remember my kid playing it, but according to Wikipedia, 
Dragon Quest Builders is a sandbox action role-playing game developed and published by Square Enix for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. So, eh, uh, I mean, I like Dragon Quest stuff, but this doesn't look like it's for me. It looks like it's for the younger generation, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. All I know is this game cost $150, making it the second most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. At number one, we have Breach and Clear. Now, it makes sense to me that this game is number one on this list, considering that this is the first game that Limited Run Games ever released, and the whole concept behind those limited release companies, um, you know, them being as popular as they are in this day and age, it makes sense that this game is number one on this list. And, you know, according to Wikipedia, the definition of Breach and Clear, not the game, but just the term in general, is the name for a common tactical room clearing method that is used when capturing a room or area filled with guards, enemies, or hostile civilians. So I'm assuming that's what this game is like. You know, doesn't really seem like the kind of game that I'd really be into. I remember when this game was much cheaper and I thought to get it, but I'm more of a game player than collector and I'd rather, you know, somebody else have one of the 2,000 copies that would appreciate it more than me. Anyway, if you do want a copy of this game, this game is going to cost you $200 even. Maybe a little bit more, but at $200, Breach and Clear is definitely the most expensive PlayStation Vita game of 2019. Okay guys, so those are the most expensive PlayStation Vita games for 2019. Now, I kind of base how good a system is based on what some of the games are on some of these lists. And you know, there's a shoot 'em up on here, Saturday morning RPGs on here, you got a beat 'em up, 99 Vitas. So there's some pretty cool games on this list, so can't argue that. I actually own a couple of these games, I own two of them. Uh, first game, Gundamoniums, great game, got it when it came out, kind of hard to find now. It's one of the 10 most expensive PlayStation Vita games of 2019. Same with Saturday Morning RPG. I actually left this one sealed because I downloaded it on the Vita and the PlayStation 4. And uh, I got this when it came out, just never opened it. So guys, let me know what other games should be on this list. Based on all the research that I've done, this is the list, this is the numbers that jumped out at me the most. So let me know in the comments below. I'm sure if there's a crazy expensive game, you guys will let me know about it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Now remember to like this video, and if you like awesome video games, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys. Peace out.